guys, I am back. I am back to YouTube. I feel like it's been weird even having a week off. And I feel like I've been so good with my upload schedule recently, which is a Wednesday and Sunday, if you guys didn't know already. But yeah, obviously this w last week has been an absolute write off because if you saw my last video, which was packing me for skiing, I was skiing last week and then we had a nightmare getting back because of the storm. I'm sure you'd have seen it over on Instagram if you don't follow me already, it's all at all Chloe Rose. Um, and you can see all my ski outfits there and they're also linked through Light to Know if you want to shop them if you've got like a ski holiday coming up because I wasn't actually able to vlog the holiday I really wish I could have but I just feel like I wanted to take the time off because it was a holiday and I was there with friends and skiing and vlogging just didn't go hand in hand it was hard to pick it up anyway but I managed to in the end and we had like the best trip but anyway as you can see from the title of this video it is a declutter with me and I feel like I've already done one of these videos before which was like organize my wardrobe but that was when we moved in the house. I was just kind of like getting everything from the floor and the boxes into the wardrobe. But the state of my wardrobe right now, it might look all okay now with the door shut, but it's an absolute mess. I feel like I need to completely declutter it, start afresh and just get rid of so much stuff that I don't need. So I'm actually gonna be selling loads of the stuff um, on my Depop, I'll list it down below. Probably won't be all uploaded by the time this video goes up, but over the next few weeks it will be and I'll update you guys over on my Instagram as well when I'm selling all of that. And then half of this stuff I'm going to donate to charity as well. But you might have seen in some of my latest videos, I've been dropping hints that I'm completely redoing this office space. It has been seriously a long time coming. I've already got some new furniture, which is really exciting. And I've put some little like bits on my Instagram, I think, that I've been picking up. But I've also got some other furniture that's on its way. And once this whole office is done, I'm going to be doing a big reveal because I just want this space to be like where I'm inspired to work and that I can film and it's just like my area. So I feel like to start off with, you know, like tidy home, tidy mind, I want to do my wardrobe and make sure it's just all minimal, clean, and I know where everything is because I feel like I don't need like five pairs of mom jeans. I don't need like 500 blazers i need to just reduce it and just have the stuff that i always wear and like my go-to items so without further ado i'm gonna get into it and clean this mess i've already started on some of the stuff yesterday and i've already bagged up like all the stuff that i'm selling for depop so there's literally like bags full of stuff here and i already have like more upstairs so i'm seriously going to be selling a lot of my things so that as i said that will be up on depop but as for my wardrobe space i want to just quickly show you this little knob has come off which actually really bothers me so i need to put that back on but i just feel like it's just such a mess in here and it seriously just needs organizing like what is that up there like it just looks so messy and I feel like these wardrobe spaces could be utilized so much more like all my shoes are just everywhere like I seriously don't need this many I don't even wear all these blazers like obviously I have some that I've got on a rail which I'll show you as well that is sort of like all my new end stuff and then I have items that I know I'll just wear all the time but even like here these are all on just like random different hangers and these are all on wooden so I feel like I started well and ended badly like I just want it all to look flowing and then these are all like my dresses up here which I probably don't need half of them so I'm going to get rid of probably a lot of them as well I've got my coats in here which just don't look that organized either I kind of just want it all in like colorways and then this is probably the worst cupboard ever. This just actually gives me anxiety looking at it. It's just such an absolute mess. So I need to take all of it out and just organise what I need. Because this is like jumpers. Down there is like my gym wear. Some of my comfy wear. Like it just... I can't even look at it. Like it, <laughs> I just always just shut the door and hopefully it will go away. And like in here I've got areas that I can properly utilise. Make it look pretty. I've got all these drawers which at the minute just have like pyjamas shoved in like I have so many pyjamas I feel like PJs are kind of my thing and I need to sort it all out like I've got, they can't even open properly I've got like my bras and my pants are all just a mess in here random socks in the baskets like perfumes everywhere so I'm definitely going to have a major declutter and like all my bags are just shoved in here which makes me really sad like I feel like they need to be looked after a lot better I actually do really look after my stuff so I feel like this is a bad representation of me and probably why I need to get my absolute shit together and then in here there's just so much space that I'm not even using like up there looks so messy there's so much space here that could be used again I've got like random hangers mixed up I've got like rose gold hangers up there with like wooden down here so it just all needs completely doing and then random shoes down here and my rack like 
repeating myself, but yeah, everything just needs to kind of go and be minimal. Having a little break, we ordered a Domino's. Diet starts tomorrow, guys. Diet starts on Monday, but this is so needed right now. I feel like I need all the carbs to fuel me to do this wardrobe. But I swear I'm just getting distracted. Like, I'm just keep putting it off and off. But I'm gonna have my pizza and then get back to it. Chris is watching the football and I feel like I could eat it all by myself. So I'm gonna have a quick slice before he sees. Mmm. I feel like I'm gonna start with this wardrobe first because it makes sense and I'm kind of in that mood where I don't know where to start. So let's just start with this up there. I don't know even what's in there. So I'm gonna empty that and start from there, sort my um, coats out and then these blazers and also the shoes down here. Cause I'm thinking of doing like one of these for shoes and then one of them for bag because they're shelves and then all of my, my comfy wear and jeans and stuff I'm buying drawers for so they can go away in the drawers once they arrive but for now I'm going to tackle this. some of my dresses and as you can see these are more of like my proper dressy kind of outfits and I actually don't have a lot because I kind of like don't really go out crazy dressy places like clubs and stuff anymore but a lot of this like I've never really worn or feel like I'm going to wear so instead of being a hoarder I'm gonna get rid but this one actually is it this one I remember I wore this to an event with Miss Guy did and it's such a nice fit. And I feel like this is really cute for New Year's Eve, so I might hold on to this one. Oh, I've got no I need like a rail to put it on. This body is so cute, but still look, it's got the tag in. Like, if I haven't worn it, I feel like I need to just get rid. So that's gonna go in the maybe pile. This is like a blazer dress. I never wear it, so that's gonna go to um, charity actually. So I've got one free hanger. I don't know where to put everything. Maybe it just says in here. This I've actually never worn, so I'm going to put that to charity. This Zara dress, I absolutely love it. I brought it like a few years ago, and I feel like you know with Zara when you buy something, and you know that you can just bring it out anytime. Well, I wouldn't say anytime because it's more dressy, but like you know you can bring it out and it will never date. My sister's actually worn this as well a few times. So I'm gonna hang on to this because I think it's just such a pretty dress. So I love that. I'm gonna definitely keep that one. This is another misguided one, which is so gorgeous. And I feel like this would again be perfect for like a New Year's Eve kind of event. So I maybe just hang on to this because I feel like it's just such a beautiful dress that I probably won't find that again. So I'm definitely gonna keep on to that. So yeah, I feel like I'm being a lot better than normal because normally I just hoard everything. So I'm gonna keep going through these dresses and see how I go. With you. Okay, so I need your guys' help. I have two dresses that are pretty much so similar. This one is from Zara. It's got a pub sleeve and then comes in at the waist. And this is a House of Harlow one from Revolve. And I wore this. I've got to say, I have actually got a lot of wear out of this dress because it's such a nice shape. I wore it a lot when me and Chris were get, like dating and going on other dates. So I feel like I don't need two black leather dresses in my wardrobe. Like, which one do I go with? I really don't know because they're both really cute, but do I really need both? Please help me and put in the comments down below which one you think I should keep because I feel like I'm just going to hang on to them both for now and then maybe take your guys' opinion on this. So this little dress, it's kind of like a pinafore one from Zara. I've had this now I think for like two years and I actually wore this on our first date together and I wore a little like black body underneath and my over knee boots. So I feel like I definitely want to hold on to this dress because it just brings back so many memories. And we did a little date night the other night and I turned up in this and I feel like it's just, yeah, it's got so many memories to it. I love this dress and I feel like it will never go out of style. Like this again is something like I said from Zara, you know that you'll just always get your wear out of it. So I love just finding pieces like this in my wardrobe that just bring back so many good memories. And I don't know how to start, but I 
So I've organised my sort of jackets and blazers in colour coordination down here. I've organised my jackets up here in colour coordination. These are the ones that are like my go-to coats. And then I've just kept like my teddy coats downstairs on the rack because they're just so thick to fill in here. And then I've just put my two kind of like long cardigans in here as well. But these are kind of my coats that, yeah, like I said, they're just kind of my always go-to, like my trenches and then my wool coats. Obviously, the common theme here is like beiges. And then I've organised all my dresses up here. So like black going into a bit of colour, the patterns, beiges, whites, and then these are just like my knitwear dresses. So I kind of like know how to get to them. And then the two or three like party wear dresses are up here in the corner. And then I've put that back up there for storage. So I feel like this is the cupboard I've dreaded the most because it's the most messy, disorganised disaster. So I'm just gonna bring it all out and start decluttering it because it's just kind of like jumpers, comfy wear, gym wear, comfy sets and like random leggings and stuff. So I'm gonna start to organize all this and a lot of this is gonna go into drawers that I'm buying. So I feel like I'm gonna make this maybe in tight shelves for my shoes instead. to fill these shelves with my shoes this one's empty so I'm not sure what to put this one yet down here is sort of like my going out boots and then my little cowboy boots here are sort of the sandals that I'm going to be wearing going into spring and also here and then up here is like my main kind of like heels that I wear and then I think I'm going to put this one for like my mules for like the spring and summer coming up but I just feel like this looks a lot more organised than having all them jumpers and then I'm now going to move on to this cupboard which don't even ask what's up here oh my god apart from these these are my old ballet slippers let me show you guys because they're so cute I think my baby ones are in here so this is when I used to do dance um, I've got my point slippers in here, oh my old little ballet slippers, I think I have my baby ones somewhere so I'm definitely going to keep these, I might actually put them like when I design the office like up on the wall or something because I feel like this is really cute and very like memorable to me. Okay so a little update of where I'm at, I'm currently sat in a pile of clothes but I'm making progress so I've kind of done like half I don't know, like three quarters of the way through the wardrobe. I've got this last little section to do here. But I feel like I've just took everything out and all this stuff on the floor I'm going to go through because honestly I feel like I'm probably going to need a quarter of it. And the rest I'm doing like a bag over there for charity. I'm doing a bag that I'm selling. Well, there's going to be a few bags that I'm selling. And then a lot of this stuff on the floor also is going to go into the drawers that I'm buying. But I kind of wanted to just sit down and talk to you guys as well because I feel like this year I kind of made it a goal for mine that um, I don't want to have this clutter in my life and I don't want to just keep consuming clothes all the time because I feel like I need new clothes. Obviously with the job I'm in I feel like yes I do need to be having like new clothes on trend and like putting out new styles and outfits out there but I also want to be having things in my wardrobe that are just absolute staple pieces that I can style in so many different ways. So I'm going to be doing a few videos here on my YouTube that will basically be like like how I style a cream blazer in five different ways or how I style like the key blazers in my wardrobe or how I style chunky boots like do I seriously need five pairs of black chunky boots probably not because I always kind of just go for like my one pair that I love so I'm just reducing everything in my wardrobe and just feel like I want to live a lot more of a minimal lifestyle and just have pieces that are my go-to and like how I can wear them differently so yeah, and also the whole subject of sustainable, I just don't feel like we need to just keep buying and consuming and clothes are just basically producing more waste. So I definitely want to be giving a lot more to charity like I'm doing and just give them to new homes. So yeah, I feel like I want to make that a real conscious effort. Also, I've got a little tip for you guys. So obviously some of the pieces in my wardrobe, like I was saying before, are kind of like, oh, maybe I'll wear them, maybe I won't. Am I still holding them, holding on to them for like no reason? So I've got a little tip for you that I've kind of done with this one that I've already sorted out. So I've obviously hung them all and colour coordinated them. But if they hung this way, so as you can see all of them are hung in the right way and if it's hung the opposite way this means it's like a maybe piece because I wasn't sure if to hold on to this or not so I'm going to put it like this in my wardrobe and then if I come back in like a month or two and it's still sat like that 
then it obviously means I'm just not wearing it. So then I will obviously give it to a new home, I'll give it to charity, or I'll end up selling it. So I feel like that's a good little tip. If you kind of got like a bit of a maybe pile and you have got room in your wardrobe to fit it in, then do that and see if you wear it. But I'm not going to lie, I feel like I did just say that I don't want to consume clothes. But the fact that I'm getting rid of them and I'm giving them to a new home and I'm doing it in charity, I do kind of want to just minimise my life and kind of go on a shopping trip and just buy things that are real staple pieces. So I've actually got an upcoming appointment with Topshop, which is exciting. So you will hopefully see that on my channel very soon because I know you guys love when I do the Come Shopping With Me videos. And sort of I'm going to be picking up loads of key staples like jeans, blazers, tees, like that I can just wear with loads of different things so yeah that is kind of my little chat over and i'm going to get back to it and do this last cupboard and hopefully manage to get this whole thing done so i'm today. just starting to clear out my sweaters and like jumps and stuff and these two pieces are kind of like an example of they've just been sat in my wardrobe i've literally never worn most of these pieces so i'm going to give them a new home and sadly say goodbye like this is such a gorgeous like rust color but i haven't been wearing it so i'm going to say goodbye give it to a new home and sell these over my depop like how cute is this um with this little bow at the back but i just haven't been wearing it and it's so chunky and i feel like it's just going to get too warm hopefully with spring coming that i won't need this so if i haven't been wearing it the past few weeks i'm going to be good and just say ciao to the pretty jumper and hopefully one of you guys can have it and it'll go to a loving home so i've done the same on this side as i did on the other that i showed you guys so i've organized it in color so black going into like cream um like browns nudes creams and then a pink and a blue so this is mainly all sort of like my knitwear and my go-to kind of like tops so some of these are like going out tops like my revolve tops um i'm kind of maybe thinking about just keeping this to knitwear and then putting like my actual tops above i'm just sorting this bit at the minute but as you can see some of these hangers are facing the opposite ways and these are just the jumpers that i'm thinking do i actually wear do i need to keep hold of them like this one i actually got from zara a while ago and it's so cute but i just haven't worn it in so long so i'm putting it that way and then i'm going to make a conscious effort now like when i go into my wardrobe like if i'm looking for something to wear maybe i'll pick this up and wear it and then if I find, like, in three months' time, if I haven't worn it, then I know these ones facing backwards, I can get rid. So what I'm going to do is, like, every three months now is have a bit of a declutter. And then underneath, I've just organised all my boots. I've got rid of loads of boots. So I've just kept the ones that I always go to. I think there's, like, six pairs in here. And then I also sawed out this whole rack. I cleared the rack off. And all my summer shoes were upstairs, except from these ones. And these are just going to be, like, all my summer sandals on here. Just so it's easier to have these kind of laid out rather than, like, stacked on each other. And then I'm just going to sort out this section and above. So and I've, I've also found these containers that I had. These are actually from my old place, and clearly I haven't been using them. So I'm just starting with this first one. And I'm sort of folding, well, like, rolling my scarves up and putting them all in here. Just so they look a lot more organised and I'm sure I'm probably not going to need scarves soon so I'm going to roll these up and store them away neatly in my wardrobe and then use these other boxes for like gloves and other little accessories that I need so just kind of like making more use of my wardrobe space really so things like this I will link down below and also like my hangers and stuff that are from Amazon because I just find them so useful and then the stuff that I took out of my wardrobe I've kind of organised all the stuff that I want here in piles so I've got like my gym wear comfy wear leggings and sweats so that's pretty much all organized and then all the other stuff is going for charity or i'm throwing it out so i've organized all that all these are the hangers that are going so these are all the stuff that's going to go in the drawers this is all the stuff that i'm selling i've got to put it all in the black bag and then i've got my bottom options that i need to sort out but i feel like i'm pretty much so I'm back again having a little bit of a rest because honestly, clearing out your wardrobe, I feel like takes the energy out of you. I'm kind of ready now to just sit on the sofa, have a glass of red wine, maybe a little bit of a cheese board because the diet actually does start tomorrow. As you saw, I had my dominoes earlier, but I'm actually starting my full diet tomorrow because I've got a trip, a really exciting trip coming up. I'm sure you guys will see that soon. And I've got to get in bikini and there is no way I'm getting a bikini right now with stuff in my face with dominoes on a Sunday. 
but back to my closet i've pretty much done it all there is a lot of stuff now in bags so that all needs sorting out i'm going to hopefully get it up on depop so you guys will see when i've uploaded that and hopefully it'll go to new homes and be loved and the rest of it is going to go to charity so that's going to go to a good cause as well but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and like i said in this video i'm going to be coming back to my wardrobe now every three months and just sort of seeing the pieces that i'm wearing seeing the pieces that i'm not if i haven't worn it in the hanger space the other way I'm throwing it out I'm taking it to charity or I'm selling it and I'm also going to be doing like I said a lot more videos on sort of like how to wear ways to wear and just really focusing on like the staple pieces in my wardrobe and I'm actually so excited now the fact that I've cleared out my wardrobe I'm just so excited for spring summer clothes like I'm ready for all of the pastel colors that's coming through I'm ready for spring colors I'm ready to not wear like so many layers and go outside and be freezing my tits off so hopefully we can get some sun apart from the storm that we've had today here in the UK and you'll be seeing a lot of spring content coming here on my channel too so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that but I'm going to finish up wrapping this room up and make sure you also subscribe because the office reveal will be coming very soon and I'm really excited to share that with you and have this whole room done because I feel like it's just going to be somewhere where you're going to see a lot of me here so yeah I hope you liked this video guys and I will see you soon in the next one Bye.